Hello, hello, everybody. Nice to see you all back again this week. This is Design Coffee Break with Post to My Wall. Welcome. I'm Lisa. I will be your coach today. And as you're coming in, just tell us where you're from in the chat and what you like about working with Post to My Wall. So the idea behind Design Coffee Break is that we want to give you a few useful tips or help you get more out of Post to My Wall in about the amount of time it'll take to have a hot, fresh, hot cup of coffee. So pour yourself a fresh cup and let's dive in. Today is going to be a very quick demonstration of our text animation tool. And we're gonna share five tips to help you get the most out of that tool. If you have any friends who you think might benefit from this video, uh, please do share today's class with them. And the video will stay on our Facebook page so that you can come back as often as you like and rewatch. By the way, I am here in Atlanta, Georgia, and on our back end, we have Susie and Audrey, both in the San Francisco Bay Area. Everybody ready to dig in? So I'm going to start by showing you some examples of what we mean by text animation. And all the, I'm going to show you several templates and use one for a demo today. We're going to give you a bonus content in the chat. We are going to share the, uh, a link to all of these templates so you won't have to hunt for them on Post to My Wall. You can just click and use them, be fast and easy. So here is our first example. You can see this is for a bakery, although you could change that photo and the picture and make it for any kind of business. And it's got the copy right here in the middle rotating. And of course, one of the benefits of animated copy is that you don't have to put all of this information on your graphic and clutter it up. You can have the uh, animate the copy. And so it shows one, one message and then the next and then the next instead of everything all at once. Our second example here, I'm gonna push play. This is a nice one. Um, you can watch the, all the copy in the middle here, both the main heading and the secondary copy, all animate and all move in sequence. Third one, now watch this one carefully. You're gonna see everything here is gonna move and swipe and move in and move up and move down. It's really a dynamic one. And of course, if you'd like to see how this was created, all you need to do is go to the template and open it. And then if, as you click on each text, the part that was animated, you'll be able to look over here on the right and see how that was input and how it was timed uh, and what transitions and speed they use. And you'll be able to duplicate those same cool effects in your own posters. Example number four, we've got up here, in the thought bubble and down at the bottom is rotating. So another great one that you can use in your social media, um, in your emails, a, a really nice animation. Fifth one, we've got our title here is going to rotate with their in information on the day and time of the event and what the entertainment is. And finally, very quickly, it's it's a pretty simple one, but this is this is what I'm going to show you how to build today. You can see our summer party template, and it kind of wipes across, which I just love. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make this. So I'm going to start with this template, and actually, it's got to get. So the first thing is that you can add animated text to absolutely any template, any post my wall template. You can see that this one right now, this is regular text, not animated text, but I like the, I like the, the font and the size. So I'm gonna pull this down there so that I can reference it later. I add animation by going to text, add animation, and it adds a text box. I just insert my copy, type it in, and now I'm going to make it match. This copy was Pacifico 105 point. So summer party, I'm gonna scroll down here. And if you're not familiar, please do play around with our new uh, font selector. In addition to having all the fonts in alphabetical order, there's also a search function now so that if you, can narrow it down to types of styles of fonts. Like if you just want to look at the serif fonts, 
it'll do that for you now. Or we know this was Pacifico. And if I start to type that in, it'll go right to Pacifico for me. And we know that needs to be 105 point. So we put in 105 point. And then we can get rid of the other text. And now we have text that's going to be animated. Next tip is to use, um, next tip is to use your alignment to make it easier to line up your animation. Now, this is vertically aligned to the left and you all know that there's, you can also vertically align it to the right or center it, I'm gonna center it. What is newer is you can now vertically align to the top. This is the top, actually, let me make this longer so you can see the bottom or the center. And by sticking that in the center, both vertically and horizontally, it's gonna be much, much easier to manipulate. Next tip, number three, is to add a background directly to your text box. Now, I think you all you know, you know that you can create an element here, you can create a box and then you can put your text over it. But then if you're making changes, you have to move it around and also it won't be part of your animation, just your text will animate. So if you want your box to be part of your animation, all you need to do, you click, click, your, click your box to activate it, scroll down and where it says background, pick a solid color and select your color. And there you go. And you can see this is all one piece and it moves and it stays together nicely. I'm going to need more space in there. Yeah, there we go. So that looks nice. Now there's also gradient options in here. So again, go back down to where it says linear gradient or radial. I'm going to do linear and you select both of your colors. I'm going to do hot pink at the top and select again. And I'm going to do the orange at the bottom. And you can see it's got that nice flow from, from the pink to the orange. And, and it just looks great. So that was fast and easy. And again, this will all stay with the copy. You don't have to worry about lining it up again later. It is centered and it will stay centered. So now we're going to add another text slide. So all you do is come over here, go add new slide, and then type in your copy. It would be August. First, and let's see, 8 p.m. And obviously this font is not working for this usage. So we're gonna, again, make it, change the font and make it smaller. I'm gonna go back to my font selector and it shows me, you know, I could search, but it's, it actually tells me which fonts are on my design. So there's Futura, Futura Light Book, and Pacifico. Um, you know, Futura Light would be this type, type up here. So I'm just gonna match that. I'm gonna go back out of my font selector and make this, let's see, 62 point. And you can see how much better that looks. So now I'm just gonna make this a little smaller again. And there we go. Third text slide or another text slide, you can add as many as you want. Um, and I'm gonna type in this one is going to be entry return seven dollars. All right, so just that easy. And you can see that I can get back to the other slides by clicking over here. You can also drag these if you decided that you wanted the entry to cap it to show up before it says the date. You can do that, you can delete slides and you can change how long each one is up for. So those are great controls that you can play around with. Um, so my next tip is to push play as you go to test it out and see what you've got. So here we go. All right. Looks nice. Um, I think it could be a little stronger. So I'm going to go to all of these and I'm going to add a shadow. So that's tip five. Use the shadows to make your text pop. Scroll down. There's a strong shadow and a light shadow. I think light will be enough. And you can see it just makes it pop a little more. And I'm going to have to go to 
I have to go to all of my text then if I want the shadow and everything. And to entry. Light shadow. So I have the three light shadows. I'm going to play it again. Oops, let me get back to the beginning. Okay. Now here's the most fun part. Once you've got once you've got that animated, what you can do is you can come down and you can play with the intro or outro in animation, which means that um, if you turn that on, it doesn't come up until it starts. You can play with the speed of your animation and make it faster or slower. Make it faster, just for fun. And you can play with all the different effects. Um, block is a really nice one. That's too fast. I like medium. Medium's pretty good. Uh, the, the other one, let's see if we did wipe. Wipe up is nice. So experiment, play around, and find the animation that you like best. So finally, question is, can you have different colored fonts or different backgrounds on the different slides? And the answer is absolutely yes. You know, say, say you didn't want a background on this one, or you wanted it to be solid, you could just come and tell it solid color. And there you go. So have fun, play around. These are great. That's it for the demo today. Um, we did see there was one question in the chat about uh, pricing on animation. Now, animation, unlimited downloads of animated text are included with Premium Plus. If you're a premium subscriber, then you'll need to use credits to get the animation. Um, and if you're a pay as you go user, you can buy a single downloads. There, is, there are free downloads of the animation, but those are low res and they will have a post to my wall watermark. So if you're using it for social media and you don't mind if it has a watermark that says post to my wall, you can use free. Otherwise you will need to use credits or purchase individual downloads um, or have premium plus, which is the way to go if you're gonna be doing a lot of animation. Um, anyway, we are going to, now we're gonna add the link to the bonus content um, again, Everything I've shown you today, all of these templates, we're gonna give you a link that will take you right to those templates and some other templates with great text animation. So you can get in there and find exactly what you want. We do have a promo code design break, which is good until September 15th for new subscribers to get a quarter or annual subscription to premium or premium plus. Our next class is gonna be Wednesday, September 15th at 12.30 Eastern. The topic is five steps to authentic social media marketing. We've got social media expert Jade Steckley coming in. And I, you know, I became aware of Jade when I saw there was social media for an artist uh, or a woman who teaches online watercolor classes, Angela Fur, and I loved her social media. And so I asked who did it and it was Jade. So we asked Aid, Jade to come in. She's gonna show you how to use your social media to connect with your, your audience in an honest and personal way. She's gonna share a lot of examples of her favorite social media posts. So I hope you'll join us for that. I think it's gonna give you a lot of ideas for types of posts you can use on your own social media feeds. So thank you from Susie, Audrey, and myself, and from Post From My Wall. We hope you have a great day. <laughs>